Hi, welcome to the five minute focus. In this video, we'll be covering the shop culture. I'll give you five steps to help you tune up yours. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when our next video comes out. Okay, let's go. What's the culture like in your shop? I suppose the obvious question to ask is, what do I mean by culture? I usually answer by saying something like, the culture in your shop is the result of the values, the behaviors, habits, and the accepted standards that exist within your team. Every business automatically has a culture, but as the owner, if it's not a culture that you have consciously defined, it will just happen on its own. And if that's the case, then it probably won't be what it is best for the business. It's just what'll be easiest for the people who work there. So when it comes to the culture, you need to define it or it will define you. So if you are an owner or a manager, one of the many jobs is to define the culture that you want to nurture it and protect it because your people will come and go, but your business needs to stand for something. That's what culture is. You don't want culture to come and go with the people. So here's a list of five actions that you can do to develop your shop culture. Number one, if you permit it, you promote it. Accepted or tolerated behaviors determine the culture. It's not just about what you do, it's also about what you don't do that determines the culture in the shop. You have to be prepared to stand up and defend what is important to you and your team. And if you don't, you're permitting it. And by permitting it, you're promoting it. Number two, define and communicate your core values. Values are what's important to you. So what is important to you? If you are on a team where everyone shares the same values, it becomes a reference for decision making and leaves everyone on the team with no doubt about what is expected of them. But if you first have to define exactly what your values are, then communicate them with your team. So what are your values? What is important to you? Number three, get rid of the bad apple. If you have people on your team who are constantly undermining you, then you have an obligation to act and get rid of them. Because as hard as you are trying to build and nurture the shop culture, the bad apple is destroying it. I've been there. So if you can't change them, it's time to get rid of them. Number four, you are the teacher. Almost everyone wants and needs the opportunity to grow and move forward in their career. You need to offer training and development and opportunities to show that you are committed to their education and advancement. Keep in mind, if your team isn't growing, chances are your business isn't growing either. And finally, my fifth step to defining your shop culture is understanding it's more than just a job. Building a shop culture is about creating more than just a job for the people that are on your team. People also want connection. They want to feel important. They want security and they need to grow and contribute. Your business is a place where people have an opportunity to become who they could be. So in order for them to realize their full potential as people, it needs to be more than just a job. So look back at over the five points and ask yourself, what are the three practical steps that you can do today to build a better culture in your business? I hope there was something that you could take away from today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when our next video comes out. And thanks again for watching.